Hey guys, welcome back to watch this. Today we are going to be doing some Rubik's Cube stuff and Kelsey will scramble all my cube or scramble all my cubes and I will solve them and show you my PB and what time I got. But first of all, we just got this new GAN 11M Pro and so we're going to do an unboxing video. It's the newest 3x3. Let's do this. So, here's the unboxing. So, we got this ID GAN 11M Pro card. Not sure what that is. And it looks like another one here. Another card, but... What's this? I'm pretty sure this is the cube, so... I want Yeah, we're just gonna open the cube first. So, this seems cool. So, we're just gonna do a magic trick to open this. Oh, oh my god. This feels cool. Oh my God. This looks cool. The color is oh, it's like so bright. Your first turn. Yeah. Your first turns. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure you can adjust like these little things in here, like around here. This just feels really cool to turn. I don't know. I like this. This field. Now, Kelsey. So it's really fast for me. It's like it really, I like it, it. It clicks into place. Yeah, because it has. I think it has. This, it has 64 magnets instead of 48. It's pretty cool. Um, and I think we should put it into a checkerboard pattern. Let's just see how it looks. Cause the colors like really pop. I don't know why. That looks cool. Now we have this little accessory box. So okay, just a little rip. And really, ah. so got this. That's first, the, let's and just, this is the case. This is the carrying case. Let's see. This should fit in pretty good. Fits in. Let's close it up. Carry it. And we have a new Gan, a little Gan logo. I think this. There's there's more in here in the box. So we have a little is to adjust the yeah. settings. We on. have like the magnets and, and oh we also have a little instruction. Hold on. And inside here we have more. Oh, we I think we have how this teaches us how to solve it. And we came with this thing. A box. Oh my god. Oh, so this this piece pops off. I'm pretty sure. And you can these, adjust it. These setters pop these. off, and then this can you can like adjust the cube, like here to make it like fit perfectly right for you. So the box, it's like a pretty fun unboxing experience. We have the nice black in the middle. If you have to rate it, what would you rate it? Out well, of 10? first of all, I need to do a little solve on it. So you can scramble it. Let's get my little tiny. So Kelsey will scramble cube. Scramble it. So Kelsey has scrambled it, and now I'm gonna do my first ever solve on the Gan 11 M Pro. So I was sub 40 seconds, which I average, I average around on the three by three, around 42 seconds. So that's a pretty good time for me. My personal best is 26 seconds. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty good time for me. So yeah. All right, so how do you feel about the new GAN 11M Pro? What do you like about it? What don't you like? Well, I like that it's pretty fast turning, and its corner cutting is amazing, as it cuts like more than 45 degrees. But the thing I don't like about it right now is I feel like it goes almost a little too quick for my, like, I just have to get used to it. So it's not something I actually don't like. It's just something I'll have to definitely get used to when I'm solving. Because like when I do an F2 move, it it's like, I sometimes go F3 because it just, I don't, I, I'm just not used to this fast turning of the cube. 
And I also I can feel the magnets when I do, when I finish the move. Like if you do if you go slow on this, you can definitely feel you the can magnets. feel the magnets just like attract right to each other. So you don't even have to like do a complete um, move. It will just snap right into place. So I think this is definitely going to get me personal bests. And I forgot to do an M, I forgot to do M moves. So an M move is just a middle layer. And it, I like it. The end move is pretty, pretty um, quick. It's better than um, my um, my other three by three. The end move is way better. So I look definitely look forward to getting some more um, PBs and just doing some more solves because I really like solving them. So this is going to be my solve on the on the new Gan 11 M Pro. Okay. So I got a minute seven seconds. And I normally average around a minute 30 seconds, so maybe it was a lucky solve or it was a new cube. So now we're going to be doing 2x2, two 3x3, by 4x4, two, by by four, by five, Mega Mix, Pure Mix, and Mirror cube. If I say ghost cube, I mean mirror cube on this. So Kelsey, you're going to be doing. I'm gonna scramble all these because I can only sell the two by two three by three. So let's do this and scramble them up. So all the cubes are completely scrambled. Now it's time to solve them. Just move these out of the way a little bit. And here you can do Just going to inspect the cube. So we're going to tell you each time um, on his I cubes get. that you get. So the 2x2 two two and 3x3, three three, we won't have to fast forward, but the 4x4 four four and everything else, we might have to fast forward. So let's do this. I got 10, sec 10 seconds on my two, 2 by 2. My PB is 5 seconds, which PB equals personal best, is 5 seconds on the, on the um, 2 by 2. So now let's do the 3 by 3. Okay. So it's a pretty bad solve, but I got a 40 second solve on the three by three. My personal best is 26 seconds. It wasn't that good, but I average around 30 seconds, like 35 seconds. So that one wasn't that good of a solve on that one. But now let's do four by four. This one we probably gonna have to speed up for. So I got two minutes, 55 seconds. My personal best, I, I believe is around 2.15ish, but now on to five by five. So yeah, let's do this. Oh, I forgot to start the timer. And we finally solved 5x5. Five five. It took 8 minutes 14 seconds. To be honest, I was not I have not tracked to a PB on 5x5, five five, so that's my new PB. Okay, I really never kept track. 
So now we're on to something I think might take the longest. Okay, now we're on to the Mega Mix. And three, two, one. And we solved it in 7 minutes, 33 seconds. That's 100% a PB. Yeah, I thought you have like 8 seconds. That was, it was a bad um, cross, but the the way the, um, the top line was working out was nice. It was, it didn't take us long as usual. So, had a PB of 7 minutes, 33 seconds. Now on to the mirror cube. So now into this mirror cube. It's a shape shifter. I still don't know my PB on this because I didn't have it time myself. But this one's gonna take a while. Let's do this. It was 10 minutes. Okay, so the speed stack timer shuts off it was after at, 10 minutes, so. <sighs> it was about 11 minutes. It was around 11 minutes, yeah. Because I checked Sorry. I checked it, it was at like 9 minutes. If you guys have it, it's like, yeah. Doing it, shut, shut, it just it shuts down after a while. So now the only cube he has left is the pyramid. It just isn't even a cube. So let's do this. So we have a 26 second solve. Change your pace from this, 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 and that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell so you never miss a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.